I started a company back in, uh, it's been about 10 years ago. Um, and it was basically based on a digital business card. Um, that was the idea. And it was, I mean, it's a cool product. And honestly, we were ahead of our time. It just wasn't, didn't get adopted very quickly um, around that time. But um, I jumped in, I was really naive um, to, you know, just business, I guess, in, in that regard, in the tech space and this area. And it just, it didn't go well. Like we, we had some traction and then didn't and, you know, ups and downs with it. But um, probably the biggest thing is, we took an investment from a family member of mine and mm. that was the worst mistake ever. I guess if I can give any kind of advice, like don't borrow money from family, if you can, if you can at all avoid it, because you still see that person at holidays and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And if the business fails, which this one did, um, you know, it's like, okay, that's, that's an awkward thing. I will tell you, I've been able to pay that person back, which is nice. Um, that's good. You know, some businesses, I think they probably could have just chalked it up to a, a loss and then whatever. But yeah, that was that was a big thing for me. It also like there was some took some pride, uh, took a hit of pride because I had stepped away from the family print shop to go pursue this. Well, when that wasn't working, uh, I went back to the print shop and, you know, it's just for family. A lot of them, they didn't care. Like they were obviously very graceful about it. But um yeah, it was a pride thing for me. And then, you know, starting other businesses, we've had t-shirt subscription companies, we've had a fund fundraising business. Um, I've been in multi-level marketing, did that for, for years and, you know, didn't really work out very well with that either. And so, yeah, lots, lots of, I would say lots of business failures through that, but I will say, you know, the things that make it easier to go through those failures are the important things in my life are constant. And those haven't failed, you know, like my, my relationship with God is still, you know, and was and is still the foundation of what I, I, I had. And my relationship with my wife, Tracy, we've been married for 13 years now through all that stuff. You know, it was kind of a running joke that I came home with a business idea, you know, every day. And, you know, she would just kind of roll her eyes and, but she supported me like every step of the way. And, um, you know, so the, the, the foundational stuff was there. And then that it, it did take a hit whenever something didn't work out, but I always had, you know, something strong and constant to fall back on. Yeah, that's really good. It makes me think of, I saw Mariano Rivera um, recently speak and he was talking about, they're saying, you know, how did you work through, you know, getting shelled or, or blowing a save mm. or something like that? And he talked about, mm. well, it's because, you know, I left the stadium and whether we won or lost, I sold my faith, I sold my family. And you talk about those yep. foundational principles, and I think a, a lot of people maybe miss that. But if you can have those constants, it really does take the sting away of of failure because you can go out and you can give 110%. And if you wind up losing or winning, it really doesn't matter because you go home and you give your wife a hug and you give your kids a hug, whatever it is, those those things are still there. You still have God. Yes. Uh, so I think that's, that's an amazing point. Um, I, not a lot of people I feel like have talked about the foundational or at least said that, that phrase of those foundational mm -hmm. principles. So I think it's a really good, yeah. really good point. Yeah.